Are we, are we recording? We are? The big question is, are we recording? But we are. <laughs> Guess what? We're starting the podcast today. Oh, by the way, welcome to Honest Bullshit. I'm Lee Michaels, and this is Dylan Skye. There's I'm Dylan Sky. Great to be here, Lee. Yeah, here we are. Um, anyway, we're here live on set. We had we had a little a few technical problems. So today's show, the first podcast, we're recording it and then we're going to post it. We were having a a problem streaming live, but that's the least of our problems. So, what is our channel about? I can tell you what it's not about. It's not about politics, and it's not about religion. So that's us. That's what we're doing. No politics, no religion. We just want to have fun. We figured during the next year, during the next year, everybody's going to be pretty wound up and pretty cranked up, and fun is not going to be at the top of everybody's list. So wanting to be at the bottom of everyone's list, we decided to have fun. So we're going to have fun. If you want to have fun, you can hang with us and have fun. Subscribe to our channel. That makes everything even more fun for us because then we get your agreement. Subscribe. It's like a yardstick. It measures your agreement. So if you agree that having fun is important, subscribe. Yeah, anyway. Sounds great. Um, we're going to talk about racing and boxing. We're going to talk about movies and music and stuff we love. We're going to talk about L.A. and how cool L.A. is. L.A. is like, L.A. is one of those places, you know. Dreams die hard here. Dreams <laughs> die hard in L.A. You know, in sports, sports lets you know really fast. You know, by the time you're a teenager, you know if you if you got a chance or not. You know, like, yeah, it, sports tells you no, no, no. You're not good enough. Bingo. But music, art, movies, all those those things, there you can stay, you can just imagine it's gonna work out for you for your whole life. So that's part of the delusion that makes LA unique. Everybody here has some idea, some concept, some uh, just everybody's just full of stuff, you know? And so that can be pathetic and that can be glorious, like it's a double-edged sword glorious and pathetic but uh we have a show called pathetic has-beens we're going to try to do that you know once a week if we can find someone uh, that has a sense of humor and wants to be a pathetic has-been they can come on and play music if somebody wants to fight we have boxing out in the driveway oh we have great boxing in fact if mark zuckerberg and elon musk want to settle their dispute they can do it in my driveway no one will get hurt and uh, we'll watch the video i think they'd like it we'd like it so <laughs> yeah, 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 the whole neighborhood would like it. We can, we wouldn't have to tell anybody. They just bring 50, each one of them could bring 15 of their friends, no cell phones, and we'd go for it. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. Cool, what a, excellent. Yeah. Um, sounds like a fun show. Yeah, we hopefully it's a fun show. Now, Dylan and I just finished, we just finished a movie it took a year and a half. That's right. Yeah, it was a movie about all my crazy ass ideas and it just fucking just grew and grew. It just turned into this thing and we just barely scratched the surface, but there are some cool ideas and some cool stories. And uh, we worked for the last year and a half every day, just work, work, work. We just finished it last week. We thought, okay, the movie's done now. Now we can start the podcast and we'll, try to promote the movie and get interest, but I think you're going to really like it. Um, Dylan has an interesting background. I could let him tell his own story here, and I can shut up for a minute. Uh, <laughs> anyway, sure. without further ado, here's Dylan. Great. Let me just get the uh, angle here. All right. Well, it's great to be here on the show, Lee. This is yeah. going to be a lot of fun. I'm feeling really good on this uh, Monday morning. Are you nervous? I, uh, uh, I think we've done enough uh, trial rounds that this feels familiar and, and pretty pretty easy there going. There we go. That's um, a good answer. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, I'm a architectural designer, builder, and international filmmaker. You're an sorts. actual architect, right? Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yep. Uh, actually, real deal architect. Yeah. Yep. I went to school in uh, Philadelphia. I'm a Jersey boy, raised in Jersey, lived in Philly. Then after I graduated, I moved to Shanghai, China. And, uh, China. Yeah, that's when I, I really... Uh, 
got to uh, evolve and learn how to design theme parks and water parks and then shoot films at night. So it's architect by day, filmmaker by night. Oh, wow. So you guys were, you were designing uh, amusement parks? Uh, yeah. Yeah. We, I worked for a Chinese uh, company called Jumbo uh, Landscape Architecture, and uh, we did theme parks, water parks, and interior malls and stuff in Shanghai and also in uh, like 25 other cities around China. Oh, wow. uh, so that was really fun. And then I got to meet the expat community and shoot some film out there. And I fell in love with the filmmaking process. Uh, I was an actor, producer, editor, and I wanted to take all that energy and experience and bring that with me to uh, Los Angeles eventually. And uh, that's what I ended up doing. Well, you've had some success uh, already with your acting and your movie making uh, pursuits. I mean, you've <laughs> sure, it's yeah. pretty astounding, actually. You should tell everybody about it, I think. Sure. I yeah. uh, acted in a feature length film in uh, Shanghai called Shanghai Story. And that's a film that. Uh, it's a drama about a man and a woman who are expats living in Shanghai, and they, they meet a bunch of variety of characters and situations that are, are fun and strange and exciting. And uh, I got the opportunity to act in that and uh, just recently made it onto Amazon Prime. So that's my oh, that's <laughs> cool. first feature on, on Prime mainstream streaming service. So that's cool. It's exciting. Another film... You just got back from Khan this year, right? Correct, You were in yeah. Khan, one of the films was in, yeah, why don't you explain that? Sure, yeah. Uh, another uh, thing that I did over in China is the 48-hour film competition, and those are uh, creating a short film over one weekend, and you don't know what you're going to make it about until Friday night when you're assigned uh, the, the subject matter, and you have to include a certain keyword and a particular prop in there so they know that you made it that particular weekend. So it's a really fun competition where you're up for 48 hours and you're, sh you're writing, you're shooting, and you're editing, getting it all done wow. by, by Sunday night, essentially. <laughs> and your film from that competition got selected to Correct. be a con? So first, uh, it uh, competed on a national level in China, and it won uh, uh, Best Picture in the national competition. And then that enabled it to be entered into the international competition. And it ended up being screened in Los Angeles, downtown, um, for the Film of Palooza event. And then um, it uh, ended up getting selected. There was about 100, 100 films that were shown, shorts in the competition. Ours was one out of 10 that got selected to be uh, sent over to Cannes for the Cannes Film Festival. So. That That's pretty, pretty cool. fucking impressive. And sure. you went there and did the whole red carpet thing? Oh, yeah, it was great. We were there, uh, red carpet. Yeah, Leonardo DiCaprio was there and Scorsese uh, and cool. everybody. I was Scarlett cool. Johansson. Uh, it was pretty cool. It had a lot of fun. Yeah, well, I have to admit, I've seen the film, and uh, it's really quite good filmmaking. I was actually shocked. Went, Whoa. Yeah, it's, it was, it's good <laughs> filmmaking. Uh, I can see why it got selected. Yeah. Uh, yeah, thanks. So then Dylan, Dylan and I hooked up. And here we are, a year and a half later, we made a film. What a project. We thought it was going to be a three or four month project. It took a year and a half. <laughs> uh, yeah, a year and a half. That's a long time. Um, but we did it. Anyway, yeah. that was fun. Um, it's an achievement for sure. It's an eclectic yeah. documentary. Oh, and, uh, it's, a, it, it's a documentary about me. So I had to look at my face for a year and a half. <laughs> Imagine that. You know how when you get a picture of yourself? And you look at the picture and you go, oh, fuck. And then, like, maybe the third or fourth time you see the picture, you go, I, I don't want to ever see that picture again. Right. Well, I, right. I got like that, like, fuck, almost a year and a half ago. So for the last year and a half, I've been looking at myself every day going, fuck, <laughs> fuck, what a fucking idiot. <laughs> and and uh, anyway, <laughs> it was the hardest thing I've ever done in my life, looking at myself that much. Uh, I don't ever want to see myself again. Uh, <laughs> I, I want to make films, but not of, not of my face. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm over that, man. That was a hard one. It, yeah, I'll never fucking live that down. You know, I mean, like, it was hard. Anyway, um, I mean, my, I mean, my. That's what I've been for the whole last year. I mean, my, I mean, my, I mean, my. I feel like, fuck. Anyway, <laughs> listen, we want to know what you think. Not only are we going to run our mouth, but we want to know what you guys are thinking. And do you have exciting projects? Maybe you have a project that everybody would find interesting uh, do you have a delusion that you've been holding on to uh, for <laughs> way too long? We, we're, we specialize in that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're in L.A., man. Yeah, I'm, yeah. 
we specialize in that shit here. <laughs> We're a delusional center. Yeah, I, that's what I like. You can talk your shit here about the shit you want to do and nobody thinks you're crazy. If you live somewhere else and you talk about the stuff that you want to do that we talk about here, people would look at you like, who do you think you are? What the fuck are you talking about? What, who does he think he is? Look at that shit. Yeah, but here, man, everybody's fucking got, got some crazy ass idea of how they imagine the world or themselves or, or a combination of both. <laughs> and so... Um, yeah, that's what we do here. So this is going to be a fun channel, I think. Ah, I, I, I feel at a loss for words. But there is a thing about L.A. I love L.A. I, I'm born in L.A., so, so I, I'm guilty as charged. You know, I was born 11 miles from here. So in my whole fucking life, I've made it like 11 miles. Right here I am, <laughs> 11 miles from my birthplace. Wow. I, I haven't made it too far, but uh, that's life here in L.A., um, yeah, I fucking love it here. You know, I hear people say shit about L.A. Or somebody says, yeah, I lived in L.A. for a while and they lived out fucking in, in fucking wherever, you know, Tarzana or some fucking place and they thought they lived in L.A. You know? <laughs> right, right. I go, yeah, yeah, okay, cool, you did, you did. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's kind of why I wanted to put myself right in the dead center of central L.A., so. Where are you? In Hollywood, yep. right? Hollywood, yeah, Orange. Ground yep. zero, man. <laughs> Pretty cool, yeah, I, I love it. And uh, Do you I, <laughs> Yeah, go ahead, uh, sorry. Uh, I just, uh, I appreciate your love for having fun and living a fun, fun-loving lifestyle, and I, I agree with that. I, I wanted to move to a fun city where I could pursue my passions and really come alive uh, as an artist, uh, a visual artist. Yeah. Um, and it seems like the right place for that kind of energy and that kind of passion. You know? Oh, everybody, do you like our set? <laughs> Look at the set. Look yeah, at that. Is it that out. beautiful? Dylan designed this set on his uh, computer <laughs> using his architectural programs. Yep. And he flip-flopped these pictures and stretched them and contorted them and turned this thing into this beautiful, lush jungle. That's right. Yeah. Myself with my orange fucking hair and naturally... <laughs> I had to go for the orange tabletop. So the orange <laughs> and black, the ha Halloween idea, that was a, a little bit of my influence. But uh, anyway, the, the net result is spectacular. I fucking love this set. I hope you all like it. We were trying to bring a peace and tranquility to the vibe. You know what I mean? Like yeah. everything's going to be so edgy this year. We want to be a piece of calm and fun. Absolutely. So we're going to fight and race. Is that calm and fun? I think so. Fighting's <laughs> calm and fun. It's calm when you get knocked out. Ooh, wee. Yeah. Yeah, we have a boxing arena right out front. Yeah. Who has a boxing stadium in their driveway, huh? <laughs> Who has a and whose who's neighbors would let them do that? I live in the perfect place. If I lived anywhere else, I couldn't do the shit I do here. But this is it, man. Ground fucking zero. We got the jungle here. And oh, oh. I saw fucking Bigfoot. I can't talk like that. I know the algorithm will, will fuck us up. Excuse me, will mess us up. If I say curse words, it automatically recognizes the curse words with the, and it squishes you down. So I'm telling all six of my subscribers. Yes, six subs we have six subscribers now. Yes, yes, hello everybody. Here we are, starting a journey. You were there in the beginning, That's all right. six of you. That's right, day one. <laughs> yeah, day uno. That we're learning these languages here in L.A., uno. <laughs> okay. It's some funny shit. L.A. is funny. <laughs> oh, we tried to start last Wednesday, because every Wednesday is going to be Weed Wednesday, or so we thought. <laughs> right. So last Wednesday, we thought, let's start on Weed Wednesday. So we fired everything up, and we got so fucking high. <laughs> Excuse me. We got so high <laughs> that um, we were too high. It was like watching paint dry. Right. We were sitting, I was going, right. hey, Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are, are we <laughs> online yet? <laughs> Right. It was pretty fucking high. Anyway, so we so you know some concepts sound good. They sort of good do good on paper, but then then when you actually do them, they're not as that good. And that's how Weed Wednesday was. Like I really yeah. like the idea of it, but yeah. We were too high. Yeah, my charisma took a pretty p significant hit. <laughs> yeah. I was looking for mine too. Anyway, hey everybody. Okay. Uh, what what do you think? 
Hmm, what else we got? Oh, oh, merch. We're going to have some merchandise. We're wow. going to have a bunch of merchandise. That's we great. got Quake City Boxing t-shirts. Right now we're finding somebody to be an expediter to our merchandise and to also set up our, our members-only bullshit because you know what we're going to do in members-only, but it, we're not quite ready yet. We're going to play music for you every night. Think about that. Every night in your house, music. Wow. That That'd be nice. pretty cool. You get so fucking tired of that. Excuse me. You get so <laughs> tired of that song. You'll send me out if I hear that song one more time. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm gonna quit subscribing. So. Oh, and the other thing I do. Listen. Listen to what I do. For the last eight. No, the last. Fuck. Maybe the last ten or eleven years. I go in every week and I listen to as many new releases as I as I can. It takes me a few hours, and then I select the songs. I don't know who the bands are. I don't know any of the shit. I just listen to everything. Quick, fifteen seconds, ten seconds, five seconds, whatever. Bing, 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 and then I then I go back and then all week long I listen to those songs that I collected that I thought I might like, and then the next week I do that. So every week I listen to new releases. And I never really listened to anything more than a week or two old, you know, new releases, new releases. And it's really affected my outlook because you know what? Some people are so fucking creative and you don't, oh, excuse me. They're so creative <laughs> that you don't even realize that you hear it and go, whew, they're so creative. So that's what we're going to do. If I hear something that I think is cool, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to say, man, I heard this song and there's something about it I like. And I hope you like it too because that's uh i do that in, in yeah that's I, I love that anyway i hope you like that we're going to find some songs for you you may not like the same kind of songs i like but maybe you will who knows well it, it won't cost you anything to go listen to them and see if you like them too i found some great artists i would have never found them in fact i some of my friends would go where'd you find that i go in new releases man and i figured in new releases after one week, they're out of the new release bin, and you never find them. How do you find them after that? There's a billion songs out there, a, bi a trillion songs. How do you find anything after the new after they're in new releases? They're gone forever. So your only chance to find those songs is the week they're in new releases. After that, forget it. You'll never find them. <laughs> so that's my thing. Every week for the last 11 years, I'm listening to new releases, and it, it has changed my outlook on life. It really has. And we're going to try to do the same with movies. Uh, if sure. we see any movies we like, we're going to tell you. And we'll tell you why we like them. Yeah. So. Absolutely. Yeah. Love and we want to know what you think. Because what you think. Uh, well, I can't lie to you. I don't know how much we care about what you think. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, but, but time will tell. We might care a lot if you're rude enough. It, you know, if somebody says something really, really insulting, we might care. <laughs> you know what happens when people care. Shit happens, right? So we might care. <laughs> uh, Got some heavy rain outside. Yes, this is an fall. epic. Very rarely does it rain in Los Angeles. We're having what they call a historic rainstorm with epic flooding everywhere, except for in Venice here on my street. Hmm, yeah. Oh, I was going to tell you, uh, yeah, on my street. It, it, it doesn't <laughs> flood on my street. Yeah. That's pretty convenient. <laughs> yeah, we're in the tsunami zone, but it doesn't flood. So if there's an earthquake and a tsunami, I'm in deep shit. Yeah, I'm in deep doo-doo, as they say. Um, yeah, we're right here on the edge of Venice Beach, right here, just uh, one block from the boardwalk. Pretty cool. The last thing is I've noticed, I noticed it a long time ago, but all media is human suffering. So we're going to try to change that. You know, like all media, it seems like, is human suffering. Like everything is at somebody else's expense, but we want to be that stupid exception to that. We want to be fun. Like, so when you come here, we want to have a good time. If you want to be serious, there's people that do that way better than we could ever do it. If you want to talk about politics, there's people that got that dial. In fact, there's people that kill that one, man. They talk about everything. If you want to, um, yeah, if you want to have fun, we kick ass. That's what we do. We have fun. So if you got time for fun, that's great. I'm sure you do because we're going to have fun. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, that sounds so great. So the la last question I leave you with, is hate required? <laughs> we all know the answer is no. <laughs> love is the only thing that's required. Okay, all you beautiful people, we love you. And 
we're going to love you even more <laughs> as we get into this this process. Yeah, sounds great. <laughs> we love all of you, even the haters. Yep, even the haters. Haters going to hate. We got six people. How many haters do we have already? I'm going to say <laughs> these are six of my friends already. I'm getting hate mail. Oh, <laughs> fuck. Hate mail already. And, uh, which one of my friends is sending this shit? Oh, my God. <laughs> We're not even online and we're getting hate mail. Yeah. <laughs> the trolls are already uh, doing their thing. <laughs> I don't know, man. I could keep talking. That's what you do on podcasts. This is called long forum podcasting. Yeah. I've been looking so forward to this. We built the set. You know, we were really serious. We thought, man, we, wanna, we want people to like this set. We want them to, and fucking Bigfoot. Oh, wrong hand. Bigfoot. <laughs> He's that fucking Bigfoot right over there. We're way back in there. Yeah, pretty keep cool. Keep your eye on the Bigfoot. Yeah, you'll see him eventually. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> Fuck, I love that. Yeah, it's looking great. When is fucking Halloween? <laughs> Man, when Halloween comes around, I am in style. Every year when Halloween shows up. <laughs> oh, that'll be great. I'm the yeah. Halloween boy. Got to have a Halloween special for sure. <laughs> my cheeks. Look how red my cheeks are, man. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't drink. I don't know why my cheeks are red. But <laughs> I guess I'm jacked up on something. <laughs> no, I'm not. Just some morning tea, right? <laughs> I drank green tea today, I must admit, man. I'm fucking bouncing off the walls. <laughs> yeah. I've never tasted coffee and I've never tasted a cigarette. Wow. Pretty impressive. That's impressive. Go yeah, life yeah. without either of those. Yeah. That's great. That's yeah. for the better, I think. <laughs> well, I talk about that in my movie and other really important issues as well. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Talk about frivolous, man. <laughs> talk about a frivolous lifestyle and a frivolous person. You have arrived at friviality. <laughs> I, I don't know. We're going to get out of here because I'm starting to repeat myself. Well, I'm having so much fun. I could sit here all day and have fun like this, but I'm not going to. <laughs> so we're counting down. And we're going to poof. Poof is not a bad thing. Poof is what you do in the virtual <laughs> world when you disappear. You poof out of there. So cool. Poof. Well, this was great. A uh, great way to introduce the concept of the show and to get the uh, viewers uh, up to speed on what we're going to be doing and tackling here to some degree. I'm sure there'll be all kinds of surprises uh, at every new episode, so look yeah. forward to that. <laughs> Me too. Are we still on the thing? Great. Uh, I can cut it off now. We're at 22 minutes. Let's cut it off. Cool. All right. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Poof. <laughs>